How do you configure VirtualBox VM to auto start after Windows 10 reboot? In 2013 I tracked down how to auto start slash shut down a VirtualBox VM when the host is Linux. The process was officially documented and required a few steps. Right now I am interested in, how do you configure VirtualBox VM to auto start after Windows 10 reboot? Is there an officially documented process? If not, what are some person's tested solutions? My naive attempt was going to be something like. Done, set up Windows to auto login upon reboot. Toto, create batch script with, sleep 120 and amp semicolon and amp, fox manage start my underscore vm underscore name. Toto, put the batch script into my user's startup directory. I didn't see any startup directory in Windows 10 though. The truly most consistent option is to use Task Scheduler. Implementing the solution. This requires a couple of pretty easy steps, but I will explain them in detail to ensure anyone from any technical background can set this up. Identify your virtual machine name. Create a task in Task Scheduler. 1. Identify your virtual machine name. Navigate to See column backslash users backslash username air backslash virtual box VMS. The folder name above generally reflects the virtual machine name. You can confirm this by checking virtual box manager itself. The machine name is Windows 3. 2. Create a task in Task Scheduler. First click the Start button and type Task Scheduler without the quotes. Then open the Task Scheduler. Inside the Task Scheduler, we're going to see a structure tree on the left side. Right click on, Task Scheduler Library. Left click on, New Folder dot dot dot. Name the folder something memorable, like, User Custom, and hit OK, if you already have an existing folder that you would prefer to use, that's fine as well, skip to the next paragraph instead. Click your newly created folder, in my case, User Custom, to highlight it. Right click in the empty list to the right and left click on, Create New Task dot dot dot. Now comes the tricky stuff. Follow my instructions verbatim. If you feel like downvoting because it didn't work, or say this didn't work for me in the comments, I'm betting you skipped a step here. Come back and try it again. The name and description can be whatever you like, it is merely aesthetic and will not affect functionality. I'm going to name mine after my virtual machine and put a brief description. What is important is that you choose, run whether user is logged on or not, and, run with highest privileges. Switch to the Triggers tab at the top and left click, New dot dot dot. Switch the, Begin the Task column, Combination Box 2, at Startup, and then left click OK. Switch to the Actions tab at the top and left click, New dot dot dot. Click Browse, do not try to type this manually, you will cause yourself headaches, and navigate to, 
C column backslash program files backslash oracle backslash virtual box. Highlight, voxmanage.exe, and left click open. Copy everything except the executable and the quotation marks from program slash script column into start in optional column. Finally, put the following line into add arguments optional column and hit OK. Start from your virtual machine name from step 1 type headless. In my case, I will use Start from Windows 3 type headless My conditions tab is generally set to the following Make sure your settings tab looks like the following but absolutely ensure you have set the items marked in yellow to match mine. This will make sure that if some prerequisite wasn't ready yet that it will retry a few times to start the virtual machine and that the virtual machine won't be terminated after 3 days. I would leave everything else as default unless you know what you are doing. If you don't do what I show you here, and it ends up not working, it's your problem. Finally, hit OK at the bottom of the Create Task window. You are done. Testing the solution. Testing my fake scenario above, and how you can test yours. When I restart my computer, I can log in and open the VirtualBox Manager and see that my VM is running. I can also open Task Scheduler Backup, and verify that it ran successfully, or see what the error was if it did not. Most errors will be directory errors from people trying to manually enter where I told them not to. Testing my actual use case. On another machine, I set up my Linux server as a virtual machine with its own raw solid state hard drive. I wanted that server to boot back up if the machine got restarted, crash, Windows update, etc., automatically, without the user having to log in. I set that one up exactly as I described above and restarted that machine. I know it worked successfully because I was able to access my Samba share, layman's, a folder with stuff in it that I share over my network to my other computers, from another computer without having first logged into the machine that runs the server VM. This 100% confirms that it does start on system boot and not after the user logs in. The startup directory does still exist, albeit in a well-hidden place. Access it via opening the run box, win plus R, and entering. Minimize this for now. Open VirtualBox and right click on the VM you want to auto start. Click the option to create a shortcut on the desktop and close VirtualBox. Simply cut the shortcut from the desktop and paste it into the previously opened folder and it should be perfectly fine. You can actually start a VM headlessly without resorting to a third-party Boxma service now. Just create a shortcut to, and LT, virtualbox directory backslash, spoxmanage.x and gt, start move name type headless, and put that in your startup folder. From the virtualbox manual. Drive Boxman Service. Make sure to read the how to dot text and edit Boxman Service dot any.